perception um, around Pittsburgh about the changes that the Browns have made. You know, there, there have been a lot of national things that um, have touted the moves that the Browns have made in the offseason with the roster upgrade. And uh, have you sensed that at all? Steeler fans still think this is our division. Certainly the players do, I'm, I'm gathering. But just what about the perception of the Browns, um, you know, in the Steel City? Oh, yeah. I mean, I think for the most part, uh, players are reticent to, to get into that too much. I mean, I think a couple guys have said that we like being the underdogs, but every NFL team and player is going to uh, play that card if no one believes in us. I think the fan base is, uh, I don't know if it's legitimate skepticism or is it a little bit of paranoia? Uh, who knows? But um, folks aren't really buying into to the Browns around here. Uh, a lot of fans uh, from the Steelers side are basically saying, we'll believe it when we see it. This franchise always finds a way to screw it up. And, and now you've got these big personalities coming in here. Uh, Odell Beckham, of course, joining forces with Baker Mayfield, Jarvis Landry rounding out the Duke of Friends there, so to speak. I mean, yeah, the, the drama with the Duke Johnson, uh, you know, contract situation that Baker Mayfield weighed in on. And uh, was it his place to do so? Was it not? Not for me to say, but Steelers fans were eating that up a little bit, especially ones who were defending Ben Roethlisberger for for some of his public comments uh, over the years. So I think a lot of the Steelers fans are are pretty uh, pretty dubious and, and pretty hesitant uh, to crown the Browns, and, and a lot of them are waiting for the other shoe to drop and uh, for them to say same old Cleveland. They they can't get it done when it counts. Well, you know you can't if you're looking at it objectively. It's a franchise that hasn't done it. You know that one in thirty two is or one in thirty one is just two years removed, and, and it wasn't but seven and eight. Seven, eight, and one a year ago. Last